a fashion designer, as a tailor, if your designs are not making people like, they have to see you, then they'll go home and start thinking about how to patronize you. That is the headache. I wanted to make people's eyes turn. I wasn't planning to steal the show. At the time, the bride even told me, thank God she was wearing a white gown. If not, I would have stolen the show. Just imagine. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another amazing episode of Fabric Friday. If this is your first time here, I'm Ada Odu. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber, sewing blogger. I do videos on sewing tutorials, sewing tips, sewing tricks, and fashion business tips. Today on the show, I'm going to show you how I made this bridal gown for my cousin's wedding. It's Fabric Friday and you know we do style illustration and style analysis. So I'm just going to go ahead to show you the easiest way, the fastest way, and the simplest way to cut this bridal gown. For yourself, okay, for yourself, for your family, if you're excited, keep watching, okay? Keep watching. I made this gown for my friend's wedding. And if you watched last week's episode where I illustrated the gown I made for my cousin's wedding, you already know by now that I'm a rebel when it comes to making you know bridal gowns because I like to tweak parts and give them to me to suit my style because even though I'm a kind of person that I'm not always going out, I like to have something in my wardrobe that the day I want to wear it. I really want to wear it. I don't want to make a gown that whenever I want to wear it, I'll be like, oh, it will not fit into the occasion. Oh, this, oh, that. No, I don't always want to be in that kind of situation. You understand? We don't like that type of situation shape. Mm -hmm. This is a very lovely royal blue gown. I think this color is royal blue. I'm not so good with colors, guys. So just let me know in the comment section what color you think it is. It is not sky blue. It is not navy blue. So it's definitely royal blue from my end. But let me know in the comment section what you think it is and this fabric is a scuba fabric and no jokes this is one of the most beautiful scuba fabric i have ever worked with it doesn't bring out those funny hairs it's very very durable and that is something i really applaud my friend for because most of the times a lot of brides go for really really cheap fabric that after that wedding you can't wear the dress any anymore like it is bringing out a lot of hair it is tearing but this gown i've had it she got married in 2017 and this is 2020 so it's been almost three years and and every every single time i bring out of my wardrobe it still looks very new okay so this is a scuba fabric now to sew this gown let's just divide this gown into three portions okay so we have a bust here we have a skirt and we have the flared okay you guys know that when i want to teach or when i want to illustrate a style i always tell you that don't just look at the style as a whole piece Try to take it in segments that way you better understand the style okay so let's start with the bust here now this is a very basic bust here it's an off shoulder basic bust here i was going for something really simple not so dramatic the wedding was in january i had to travel in december so i didn't want to even go the route of sewing one complicated thing and get myself you know tied up when i had to travel no so i had to finish the gown in the fastest way possible so i just went for a basic bustier and i had no regrets so this is a very basic bustier and the bustier stopped three inches away from my under bust point so for me for my bridal gown especially if you have like tummy and all those things i always tell people to cut the their half blouse above their stomach so even if your, your half blouse is 17 because you have tummy try to cut it at 16 or 15 that way you'll be able to cover up your stomach like your protruding stomach and everything so that's just a tip here okay like i said i cut the bust here three inches away from my under bust point giving it the perfect spot for it to you know show up my shape for it to come out perfect so you can see that this bust here has straps it has straps over the shoulder and over the arm so you can see that we have a lot of strap effect on this gown and you know sometimes with brother gowns brother gowns takes just a little design here and there for it to come out classy okay so for me the bride gave me something that was off shoulder but i wanted something classy and something different because everybody was wearing off shoulder at that point and i didn't want to be an off shoulder so these straps was the, was the game changer for me in this gown so just a very basic off shoulder bust here with some straps over the arm over the shoulders and over the arm let's just go to the skirt now this skirt this skirt doesn't have a dart when i'm working with scuba fabric lycra fabric crepe fabric i always do not put a dart simply because i don't see any reason why i should i should put a, a dart to a skirt that is stretchy that is meal some people put their darts but i don't and they really come out well for me it's only if 
you know i really 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 want to get a particular shape out from a crepe fabric that is when i put a dart other times ladies and gentlemen i don't so this skirt doesn't have a dart and i cut the length of the skirt two inches away from my nail point not two inches i cut this the, the length of the skirt three inches away from my nail point because i didn't want my skirt starting at my nail point i wanted it to start from somewhere that will emphasize my shape okay because when you are sewing a dress you really want to know your points you want to know your body parts you want to understand how different you know flared skirt or where they start from height you know make the dress come out well for you okay so i cut this skirt and it stopped three inches before my nail point now for the flare guys i went overboard with the flare i don't even think i went overboard because i really wanted to give people headache i wanted to give people headache because as a fashion designer as a tailor if your designs are not making people like they have to see you then they'll go home and start thinking about how to patronize you that is the headache i wanted to make people's eyes turn i wasn't planning to steal the show at the time the bride even told me thank god she was wearing a white gown if not i would have stolen the show just imagine anyways <laughs> so actually she wrote that on the chat yeah she wrote that on the chat anyways um, for the flag, I cut a 720 flag, which means I cut a 360 flag into two parts. I joined it and I attached the skirt. So, and I attached it to this. To sew this gown, the first thing you go ahead to do is to cut a basic bustier. If you don't know how to cut a basic bustier, I have a detailed tutorial on this channel on how to cut a basic bustier. Check, check it out, link in the description box. The next thing you go ahead to do is to cut a basic skirt. If you don't know how to cut a basic skirt, I have a detailed tutorial here on this channel on how to cut a basic skirt. Check it out, link in the description box. This is a 360 flare and I cut it into two parts, making it a 720 flare. I have a detailed tutorial on this channel as well on how to cut a 360 flare, a 720 flare. Check it out, link in the description box. If you want to sew this gown, the first thing you go ahead to do is to cut the bust here. Now for me, what I did for my bust here is I cut my bust here in two parts. So for the front piece, I cut it into two. For the back piece, I cut it into two. So when I was done joining each individual piece to each other, one acted as the main piece and the other one acted as the facing. So when I was done sewing the bust here, before I attached, before I used the facing to turn over the neckline and the armhole, I attached my straps, then I used the facing part of the fabric to turn it over. After that, I sewed my skirt. After sewing my skirt, I had to do, I attached the skirt to the bust here. Okay, so that one already gave me a short gown you grab. So I attached the skirt to a bust here. Then I attached the flared to the skirt and the bust here. Okay, so I sewed my bust here, attached the skirt to the bust here. Then I attached the flared to the skirt and the bust here. That's the skirt and the bust here piece. Then I had the gown. Then I went to the back. And I attached, gave it a very good press, a very, very good press because I, I think I worked with a basic zip, but because it's a scuba fabric, it was really bending and bending and bending. So I gave it a really good press and it straightened out. When I was done with that, I did some needle works around the armhole side because even though I used like another fabric to turn it over, I noticed that around the, around the armhole, the, the facing bodies was puffing out. So I just used my needle and thread to hold it in place around the seam and guys that is the easiest way the simplest way and the fastest way to go about cutting and sewing this gown if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up if you are watching from facebook don't forget to give this video a like follow my page on facebook okay hit the like button and follow my page on facebook if you are watching from youtube and you've not subscribed what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button be part of the family come back every tuesday thursday and friday for me for new videos and i'll see you in my next bye